But look at the cute little cups. Oh, running in the snow. Oh my god. How's the floating space, mates? Welcome aboard the Starship Infinix Flare. It's me and Fee. And we're back here with Dragon Quest XI. And let's go to Sniff Flime. This doesn't sound like a hospitable town. No intro cutscene as well. We are just here. One of the orbs must be nearby and it's the last one. Hooray, so let's go. Guess you're here to greet us. Oh shit. What has happened? Our journey has been a waste. You don't say. Is this... Is this town dead? Oh my god, you're in such a cold country and you're only wearing like this. It's so cold, right? Right? Your boobs are almost hanging out. They should have brought a jacket or something. So what's the problem? Here the king are, of Dundrasil the is here. Kingdom of Sniffelheim, home to the famous blue orb. Uh, it's a fair wee while since I've visited, but it warms my heart to be back. Hmm. That must be about the only thing that is warm around here. Let's hurry up and get inside before we all freeze to death. <laughs> No what? girls allowed. The gates are covered in ice. Look, they're frozen shut. How strange. Still, I suppose it's only natural they'd ice up in a climate as cold as this. Natural, my foot. What about all the people inside? How are they supposed to live if they can't get in or out of the city? Hmm. Ah, you have a point there, lassie. They've always made sure to keep the main gate free of frost, even in the dead of winter. So, what are we supposed to do? There's an orb in there we need to get to. Well, if we can't go in through the front door, we'll just have to head round the back. But the question is, is it because of natural causes that this has iced up or something happened in the kingdom that has caused them to stop? Okay. So we got a pink dot guy here. There's nothing to this side. So okay, I assume we're going through the back door using the magic key. But we can go out to the Snifflime region here. So what is in the Snifflime region? Okay, we we have the snare felt and the snare felt. Um I'm guessing we don't have to go there first. Oh, it's a bobsled. Can we use it? I uh, guess not. We have another cow here. Hum, it's gonna snow, huh? Okay, but let's not continue on first because uh, we want to investigate what's happening with Snifflime. So at least let's go back this way, hit the campsite. Yeah, yeah, okay. The, the orb is inside, so... Right now, there's no point going elsewhere. We'll just have to find a way into the city. Just checking where might sparkly spots be. There's a guy here. Okay. Not something good to hear. The castle has gone quiet, maybe the city as well. So something must have happened. If, if you know, they take pains to ensure that uh, 
The front gate is never iced over, but now it has. Right, even inside. Oh my god, the people! Is this a work of a curse? This isn't good. What's going on? The whole city's been turned to ice. It's just like what happened to the gates. This doesn't seem natural at all. This may be the Crystal Kingdom. But it shouldn't be frozen solid, cold winter or no. We'd better take a look around. I highly doubt the 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 natural winter itself made made all of this. Oh no, cats! Okay. They're just gonna give us descriptions, I think. Oh my god, what has happened here? Knock this over, I can't. This is a tragedy. What's to say when we undo this curse, the people won't just simply melt away? Because, uh... What's their composition now? You know, they could be just made of ice instead of actual human parts. And then when we melt them, they just turn into water. So they are technically dead already. Oh my god, I just killed a <laughs> snowman. Well, I'm glad I left this to a new episode. If, if I continue on the previous one, then... This would have been hell to explore. We're definitely not going to be able to... Is that a person? It is. I was gonna say we're definitely not able to access any services right now. But is that that's a person? Hey you Are you the cause of all this? Oh, I'm sorry. You gave me a fright. I hadn't expected to see travelers in town. Nadoy? What happened here? Are you the one behind this? Well, it all began three months ago. It was a bright, sunny day. You're the witch! Just like any other. When suddenly, a strange shadow filled the sky. It was a witch. <sighs> a witch? My goodness! That sounds like something from a fairy tale. Just so. She chanted an ancient incantation, and just like that, the town was engulfed in a ferocious snowstorm. The wind took my breath clean away, and before I knew it, I had fainted. And when I awoke, all was frozen. I was the only one spared. She must be a pretty powerful witch to freeze this whole city with a single spell. I wish I could help, but all this ice is more than my magic can melt. <sighs> By the way, Missy, that symbol in your shawl, is that not... If you're gonna ask if she's royalty, wouldn't the crown on her head tip you off already? Freeze Abel because you know freeze. You're the queen. So does that mean the old king is I'm afraid so. My father passed away last year. Oh, I've only been in charge these few months, and just look at my kingdom. Whatever am I going to do? It looks like Sniffelheim's in a bit of a sticky situation. I suppose now isn't a good time to ask about the orb. Why, the big blue ball that's been handed down in your family for generations, lassie. 
And truth be told, we need to borrow it. Uh, oh, of course. You would be welcome to borrow it. But I'm afraid it is locked up tight inside the castle, which is locked up tight inside the ice. Well, that's just perfect. So if we don't find a way to melt that ice, we'll never get our hands on the orb. Hmm. Maybe if we got rid of that wicked witch, it might break her spell. I thought just the same thing. Why, only a few days ago, a band of soldiers from a faraway land came here to investigate what was happening. I sent them out to try and find the witch and fight her, but I haven't seen them since. Well, we can't very well leave them out in the cold. Let's go and give those soldiers a hand and bring spring back to Sniffelheim, shall we? Oh, thank you, thank you. The Wicked Witch dwells in the Hexwood, a haunted forest far to the north of the Sneerfelt Steppe. Be very, very wary, for the witch does not live in the woods alone. She keeps a fierce, magical beast to guard against intruders. I will be sure to keep an eye out. Thanks for the warning, lassie. Right, come on, boys and girls. Let's head over to the Hexwood. <laughs> I don't know what's with that lingering shot. You know, it's because of people like King Carnelian and uh, Dora the Explorer that made me suspicious of quest givers. So, uh, this Queen Frizabelle might not be who she turns out to be. She might be the witch in disguise. We have no idea, but now we know where to go. So I'll just check around and see. I highly doubt that we can do anything else here. And you know it's such a convenient tale that uh, the witch froze the whole kingdom except for her. Why would that be? Okay, there's a treasure chest here. But I, I don't think we can access it right now. And obviously with these jumping skills, I can't. Let's try again. Yep. Inaccessible as of the moment. Oh my god, what's happening here? Looks like she was blushing. Oh, you, you know, the storm must have caught them by surprise if uh, most of them were frozen halfway through what they were doing normally instead of being, uh, you know, in terror. Because if they knew that something was coming, then they might have, uh, you know, raised their arms or be screaming before they got frozen. They won't be posed like this. This might be a clue on how or when they were frozen. They were caught by surprise, I guess. And it was instant. Or maybe not for this. Okay, this one is like... Yeah. Maybe they were scared of something here. Okay, so what I said was true. It came from close to here. People here could react because they were scared. So something is up with this fountain right here. It originated from this place. Because everyone is... Well, people in this plaza are looking at in this direction with fear. Then the rest, they were caught unawares. So uh, I guess there's not much to do here. I'm going to find that sparkly spot. Can't believe I missed it. The cow must have blocked me. Let's be on our way to the Hackwoods. Hackwoods? Uh, didn't say. Well, past the snare felt. I have no idea what a snare felt is. So, is this guy gonna give me a change in dialogue now that I've been inside? Guess not.
Okay, I'm gonna do a little camp. Because, uh... I think I found some new recipes. I'm gonna check. Yeah, these were the new things. Princess pea coats and princess's robe. They are actually better for my characters. There's quite a significant increase in stats. Hey, what else? There's a lot of shit here, but I'm not gonna do any of them. One, because there's too much to think about, and two, I'm lazy. Angel Sandals. This one, chances of missing a turn. Oh, okay. It's an accessory though. I, I'm not sure if I want to have it. Although it increases agility. I'm not sure what agility improves. For the neckwear, I said I didn't want to care about anything because most of them uh, prevent a uh, certain status. So yeah. If I've already gone through this before, I apologize. So uh, to forge the princess's robe, I need a red eye, which I can only get from... Let, let me see if I can buy it from the guy here. I can't. Okay, there seems to be new equipment. Uh, it's like better than what I have. But I am not... Ooh, increases my attack by a lot though. But then I will lose out on being able to attack twice. So that might balance out in the end. All these... Okay, except for the white shield. The rest aren't that much better than what I have. Maybe the magic vestment as well. Okay, just let me let, let me take a look. This one increases to 137 and 96 for defense. This one increases to 1 for 2. Okay, so this is definitely better if I want to craft this. So what I'm gonna do is uh, fly to Lacademy where they sell the red, the ice in the shop and then craft this stuff and then be back here. Okay, so I've equipped a uh, Princess Peacoat on Eric and the Princess's Robes on... Serena and Veronica, as you can see if you noticed, with your sharp eagle eyes, the princess's robes are only plus one because uh, I had a bad time forging them. For some reason, it wasn't really easy trying to make them. Yes, I know. Too bad I can't get to the blue orb yet. So I need to find a witch in the hex wood. Hecka yeah! <laughs> Heckin' bamboozled! Well I imagine it's called hex wood because of uh, hex. H-E-X. Which is a sort of spell. But they didn't want to be so ham-fisted and call it literally hex wood so they changed it to H-E-K-S. A little name 101, naming 101 right there teach you how to name stuff. Are those actual monsters or...? I think they're monsters. Baby... Yeah. Baby cubs. And... Oh! <laughs> so cute! Man, I'm not gonna be able to kill them. Oh, yeah, I put Eric on... Um, I put Eric on follow orders because I was making steel stuff. Now he's just massacring little cubs. I wish you would just use your normal attack instead of always using your MP, Jade. We don't really have a lot, you know. Arborian Highlands and Hexwood. So we have two ways to go. Um, I'm guessing. Well, we can explore the whole. Uh, Sniffline region before we end the video and the next episode we're going to Snarefelt. Uh, we're finally meeting the bears. We met one all the way at the beginning in the Hotto region. 
guarding Mount Fuji, but I never actually fought it because uh, I was pretty sure it's way more powerful than I am. So I never bothered touching it, but now we have a chance to fight it. But look at the cute little cups oh, running in the snow, oh my god. I'm not gonna touch them because I'm not gonna fight them. But yeah, imagine if you set your AI to using MP. And that, there you go, a new chest has to be somewhere. You set your party to use MP and um, you fight almost every single enemy in the area, which I am currently not doing. You probably run out of MP very fast. As you, can, as you see, what I usually do is just fight one. Is that a guy somewhere around here? Oh, it's a bird. Okay, fucking birds. Oh crap, 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 don't touch me. So yeah, usually I fight only one enemy of each type and then after that, that's it. It's just to show you guys what enemies are there. Oh my god, I almost touched that. And also to get it in the bestiary. Whoa, what was that? Did I reveal like a secret... Secret spot? No, that's where the sparkly spot was supposed to be anyway. So if I continue on this way, we'll be near the Arborea region where Serena and Veronica count comes from. Funny how Arborea isn't, uh, how do you call it, considered as a big enough nation. Maybe it's just like a small town or village even. Because we've read up way long ago that there were five huge nations and this is the last one. The others being Helidor, Dundrasil, Sniflime and Galopolis. Okay, so... Let's find one drum enemy to fight and then we'll be on our way. I just can't, you know, I heard... I'm pretty sure I heard the growl of the saber cat. It's just so cute. Oh my god, look at it running in the background. Chelanodon, we've already fought earlier on, I think. I can't remember where. Bondo, Bongo Fandango. The previous one was Bongo Drongo. Okay. No idea what this is supposed to be a play on, so we'll just leave it at that. Powerful King. Ah, not bad at all. Yeah, indeed, not bad at all. Uh, seven points. I don't think you can learn anything, right? We learned the assassin stab, so what's left is the purse cutter. Oh, we can actually learn it with two more points. And then we can start building into others. You know, to learn this knife skill, you have to learn the two boomerang skills. I guess we can. What with having the whole ratification on the, at the goddess statue to let us get back our skill points. Oh, I can always try to go online and see what the hidden panels contain. Alright, next enemy. Oh no, I knocked away a cub! Ursa Miners! Ursa being a bear and Miner being small. They're, they're not really that small. Whoa! How you like that, man? That is painful. Rap, heal me, heal me. Cool, if he hits me again, I'm gonna die. But no, Jay to the rescue, yeah. Another day, another victory. Jade confirmed best go. I think 18 points should be enough to learn something. I'm still stuck in the lifeness area. Oh yeah, gold rush. Uh let's unlock this and see what the panel reviews. Show unto us, Pied Piper plays a magnificent melody, which will beguile an enemy. So charm, I guess. I'm thinking about uh, 
I, I'm starting to think about like re resetting skill points for my characters. Some of them may not be built as well as I'd like it to be. I still have no idea like exactly what attack scales off which stat, so I'm not sure if I'm building my characters wrongly. There is two sparkly spots to the north of here. Maybe I'll knock this and snow will fall off? I guess not. I have no idea how the snow fell off the other tree. How it got triggered. There's also like a building. Okay, in the middle path around here. Well, you know, at least a door or something. Ah, oh, there you go. The snow fell off. Alright, we got a cute deer here. Will you talk? You don't talk. That's fine. Is there a person living inside here? Nope, but there's a chest. I'm suspicious. Okay, even if it was a enemy, I'd still be opening it anyway. Cool. How many mini medals does that bring me up to now? I'm not very sure where my mini metal count is. It's not inside here, that's for sure. Oh, okay, I have stamps collector 35 and mini metals currently holding 2, so I have 37. I need 8 more to reach 45 before I get the next prize on the album. One last spot, Letty. It's a mineral ore deposit. And platinum ores are what we get. Okay, I say we still have a little time, so let's go into the exit of the least to Snarefelt. I have no idea how to pronounce that right. I hope somebody voices it. <laughs> oh my god, look at all the trees. Is it a cavern? Looks like a cavern. You can't proceed while mounted. Oh no, it's just a little cavern that leads onto Snarefelt. So how big is this area? Oh my god, it is quite big. I will not be exploring the bottom half. Okay, I'll, I'll spend the rest of the video exploring the top half, maybe make my way to the inn area. Wow, it's starting to blizzard. So we can go this way and we'll reach the... I don't know, maybe there's like two levels to this area. I go that way and I'll reach the southern part of Snarfels. Okay, new enemy. Crack build platypunks. Crack build. Uh, I cannot think of anything. Crack, maybe like the, the drug? Crack fit, crack build, crack filled. They're full of crack. I don't know. They're on drugs, man. Maybe that's why they're blue. Oh shit, I forgot to heal Iffy. I hope that doesn't lead to my doom. Yikes! Almost dead there. Eh? Maybe you'll do something now? Okay. Thankfully. I know under follow. No, sorry, not follow. Focus on healing. Uh. The character will try to heal anyone that's less than half HP. Not bad. But I guess under other tactics, the healers will only heal when the character is like in red health. I don't think Ten can learn anything. Oh, I can learn Thunder Trust or Attack Power. Thunder Trust unlocks. Let me see. Oh, up here is Fisty Cups, which I might. Go into anywhere, or I might go into Allure. Hum. Okay, but I guess I'll learn this first. It contains a pet power piece anyway. And then... Woohoo, okay. 
Jade and Wrap. Then maybe I might learn this so I can unlock this one. And you also go towards unlocking this one. We shall see when we shall see. We shall see when we will see. We shall see what we shall see. Okay, I've reached the cabin. Another recipe book. Winter's Wings Shiver Sticks. Ah, uh, Winter's Wings might be a boomerang? And Shiver Sticks might be a staff or a wand. Might even be a lance. The problem is there's no campsite here to try and make any of this, so... Let's not bother. Let's see if anyone's home. Okay. Why are you here anyway? Who are you? You're just living here? You don't even have the decency to give me any pots or barrels to smash. Shame on you. <laughs> well, apparently there's a free bed rest or something, I guess. So, should not complain. It seems like there's an upper path, you know? Which I'm not sure how we can get there. We'll, we'll, we'll see how. There's a structure here that we can go into. Oh, and it's a... It's a green door, so... It's gonna transition into another area. Whoa, there's also that... Nice... Uh... What do you call it? Marking? Carved in the mountains? Maybe that's the Arboreal Highlands. Whoa! Veronica, Serena, you live in such a nice place. I mean, such a cool place. Okay, we got this. Monster with big enough horns, so maybe there's a ride somewhere. So far, I don't see anything golden. I see some golden thing there. Hello? Whoa. I have never met you guys before. This is so cool. Yeah, confirmed we are on the lower path. There's a there's another area up top there. Let's grab our stuff first though. Oh, I was wondering why there was a icon. It's a target. Alright, so there's no way to go up here, so the path forward might be unlocked with killing this guy. Face invade. <laughs> oh my god, that's scary. They're gonna take over our face. They're like body snatchers. Not that tough. Kill it. And now we get to ride it. Are we gonna ride inside? Are we gonna be the face invader? For total 29 and I learned boom and I'm gonna learn I'm gonna learn this is a great end to the episode I'm gonna learn Giga Slash Booyaka bitches You learn the pet power Giga Burst anybody oh my god okay I can now ride a face invader I guess oh my god Oh this is scary So I've basically taken over this monster So the face invader refers to the red Ah! Did not want to fight it. The face invader basically refers to that red, glowy, blue glowy eyes thing you see in there. That's the face invader. So I'm not sure what the monster that's been invader is called. Don't kill them. I want to use my Giga Slash. Okay, so I'm pepped up, but to use Giga Burst, I need the other three to be pepped up as well. Hiya! Holy fucking Buyaka! Giga Slash! And stay down! Yes, bitches, stay down! Uh, I just wanna see how much does Giga Slash actually take. 16 MP! Wow, that is a huge cost. Okay, so uh, I'm getting turned around now. If I charge, why knock this guy away? Nope! Charge into the ice! Oh yeah, awesome. Okay, now I'm on the second level, I guess. Can I charge into this? Nope. Even though it would make sense to charge and then hit 
you know, hit a tree and then have it drop its goodies. So now I'm on the second level. Uh, I'm not touching him. It doesn't really lead me to the path above. How do I get to the path above? Oh, okay, I see. Uh, zoom in here slightly. We'll go up here and then we'll reach the path on top. And then I'll be able to reach that green area. I think we can spare some time. I'll just speed up going here. What is this directing us to a warrior? This way to the loyal library. Royal library. Did I say loyal library? Loyal library. Haha. <laughs> Tongue twister. Oh. Uh, kind of new enemies. Let's get this. I wonder if we can jump across. I don't think so. It's not on the map. Might not be traversable. The enemies are like scarier now. What happened to the cute cubs that that we were we were fighting? Oh my god! Okay, that's a whole bunch of different enemies now. And I think I think uh, I'll just I'll just end it here. We'll explore the rest of the region in the next one. Cause there's a lot. Oh my god! Look at it. It's the carving. Okay, I guess this is not Arboria Highlands because I'm facing entirely wrong direction for it. Yeah, so uh, anyway, uh, if you've enjoyed this episode, why not leave a like and a comment down below. And it would be really cool if you could help me out by subscribing to my channel so that you can stay updated with the series. As always, I'll see you guys in the next one and this is Infi, blasting off.